Did you know that coffee grows in a little bush? And that your coffee beans actually come from a cherry? Every cup of coffee that you ever had first started out as a cherry, but we only use the beans and throw away the rest. Shame on us. Did you know that the Netherlands is the second biggest coffee consumer per capita in Europe? This creates a huge waste problem, not only in the Netherlands, but all around the world. What if we could take this waste and transform it into something valuable? I first saw the huge amounts of waste when I was in Costa Rica two years ago. We went there to the biggest coffee conference in the world. We met Roberto. He's the owner of a medium-sized coffee cooperative, and he showed us around in the plantation. On top of that, he also showed the waste from all these cherries. Although he's not the biggest coffee producer of Costa Rica, still this was his biggest problem. I saw the desperation in his eyes when he said to me, if you could do anything with this waste, it would be extremely helpful to both our families and the coffee industry. That was the moment I realized that we have to help Roberto but also other farmers around the world that face the same problem. Every kilo transformed is a game. For me personally, this was a huge revelation. It's a big problem where we can actually make a difference. For a long time already, I was looking for a chance like this to fix something this big. This global challenge needs a big solution. My company is called PactCoff. We transform coffee pulp into valuable end products. Coming back from Costa Rica with a sense of urgency, my partner and I discovered that there are three major challenges around this waste. The first one is the visibility issue with the general public. As I mentioned, coffee comes from cherries. But if most people don't even know that, how can they know about the waste problem involved with large-scale coffee production? Consumers don't even know that there's a cherry in the first place. The second problem is that nobody in the industry knows what to do with it. So when coffee became industrialized, the waste was being dumped high up in the mountains. The third problem is that the environment suffers. Imagine hundreds of football fields filled with rotting cherry. Imagine the CO2 equivalent that's concerned with these amounts. This problem is growing, and it's growing rapidly, mainly due to developing countries such as China, Brazil, and India that start consuming coffee on a large scale. So, there's 20 million tons of waste being produced every year. What if we could take it and use it for something else? What if we could use it in our everyday products, like your yogurt drink and butter, which is precisely what we are doing. We transform the pulp into valuable ingredients. And we're not the only ones gaining from the process, as we have a social vision in mind concerning the circular economy. Let's take Costa Rica for example. First, these cherries grow on a coffee tree. From there, they're being picked and separated, and piles of skin and pulp are created. With the use of our preservation process, farmers are able to transform this waste into a stable and dry raw material. We, as a company, then buy this material from the farmer and extract the valuable compound. I love it that this brings additional money to the farmer. It helps us with the extraction of the valuable compounds and it's good for the environment as well. So, um, right now, we're focusing on food ingredients, but there are so much more interesting things that we can do with this material. That's what makes me jump out of bed in the morning. What we're looking for is a first customer to commit and engage with our team to develop the product 
most suited for the market. As I told you before, the Netherlands is the second biggest coffee consumer of Europe. That means that there's lots of coffee, but also lots of waste. We saw the problem and have come up with a brilliant solution where everybody wins. My friend Roberto from Costa Rica said, every kilo transformed is a gain. You might think after hearing me today that you should drink less coffee because of the waste. But I say get out there, drink more coffee because it helps the farmer feed his family. It helps us with more volume to work with and you save the environment from large scale dumping because every kilo counts. Thank you.